Sure, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman Stark, uh, Ranking Member Herger, distinguished subcommittee members, uh, thank you for the opportunity to submit testimony on behalf of the Department of Health and Human Services regarding CMS's efforts to implement the health information technology requirements of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009. In my role as National Coordinator for uh, Health Information Technology, I have the privilege of being part of a transformative change in healthcare that will uh, help to extend the benefits of health information technology to all Americans. Broad use of HIT has the potential to improve healthcare quality, prevent medical errors, increase the efficiency of care provision, and reduce unnecessary health care costs, increase administrative efficiencies, decrease paperwork, expand access to affordable care, and improve population health. The provisions of the High Tech Act uh, are best understood not as investments in technology per se, uh, but as efforts to improve the health of Americans and the performance of their health care system. They are specifically designed to work together to provide the necessary assistance and technical support to providers, enable coordination and alignment within and among states, establish connectivity to the public health community in case of emergencies, and assure the workforce is properly trained and equipped to be meaningful users of electronic health records. In order to realize this potential, a trio of interdependent rulemakings was required. On July 13th of last week, with the issuance of the Medicare and Medicaid EHR incentive programs final rule and the initial set of standards, implementation specifications, and certification criteria final rule, HHS completed the publications of the three rulemakings necessary to implement meaningful use stage one. The final rule to establish the temporary certification program was published uh, at the end of June. The finalization of these rules caps a 17-month effort, which included the input and recommendations from the Health IT Policy and Standards Committees, as well as over 2,000 public comments from stakeholders across the healthcare system. My colleague uh, from CMS uh, addresses the final policies related to meaningful use stage one in his testimony. So I'll limit my remarks to the two complementary rulemakings for which the Office of the National Coordinator is responsible. With respect to the standards implementation specifications and certification criteria final rule, the Secretary completes with this rule the adoption of an initial set of standards, implementation specifications, and certifi certification criteria to align such standards, implementation specifications, and certification criteria with final meaningful use stage one objectives and measures. The adopted certification criteria establish the required capabilities and specify related standards and implementation specifications that certified EHA te EHR technology will need to include to, at a minimum, support the achievement of, of meaningful use stage one. As previously mentioned, uh, in order to provide assurance to eligible health care providers, that the EHR technology they adopt will assist their achievement of meaningful use, HHS issued at the end of June a final rule establishing the temporary certification program for health information technology. Uh, this will be administered by authorized testing and certification bodies, which will be established by the Office of the National Coordinator. We intend to publish a final rule for a permanent certification program this fall. We expect the permanent certification program will be fully operational sometime in early 2013. I'm highly encouraged by the strong interest shown thus far uh, in the certification process. We've already received 27 applications, uh, 27 requests for applications, uh, and have received six applications within a few weeks of making the application process available. In addition to the rulemaking process, we have put in place a number of other programs that are designed to assist providers with becoming meaningful users. These include state health information exchange cooperative agreement programs, a health IT workforce training program, a health information exchange, uh, health information technology extension program that is meant to assist providers specifically with attaining meaningful use. Uh, RECs, uh, regional extension centers, will provide outreach and support services to at least 100,000 priority prim primary care providers uh, within two years. 
The High Tech Act provides for an unprecedented amount of funding to improve quality and efficiency of health care through HIT, and its historic investment will undoubtedly help transition our current antiquated paper-dominated health care system uh, into a high-performing 21st century health care system. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.